Welcome to the world, Joe. I, I heard the song, this is a song for someone. So, there's a dedication here. Somebody might want to give you a message. Somebody is throwing it out into the universe. I think somebody may be afraid to talk to another person directly, so they're sending them music possibly, they're sending them, you know, telepathically, they're sending them songs. So, a song for someone. Who is the song for? For and from, okay? Who is it for on this side and who is it from on this side? Who is this song for? The song for someone. Who is it for? Who is the song for someone for? Ace of Cups, but it fl you see was about to come out in the upright, but it flipped in the reverse. It could be somebody who um, who doesn't have love in their lives. Oh my God, look at that Knight of Cups. This is like an idealist, somebody who always fantasizes about love, but doesn't have enough self-love to actually manifest healthy love, I guess. This person could have low self-esteem. But they are a loving person. They could be a bit emotionally stunted here. Maybe. They could have a lot of water in their chart. And uh, maybe because they have a lot of water in their chart, they could be overly sensitive, you know. They could cry a lot with the Ace of Cups reversed. Okay, so who is who is the song from? Maybe the other person knows how ro that this person likes music a lot. Because the Knight of Cups could talk about music, a musician or somebody who really enjoys music. So the other person might know this person's musical preference. They might have similar musical preferences, you know. So that's why they're sending them songs. This person could be also very intuitive. And the other person knows that this person is very intuitive, maybe even psychic. And that's why they're sending them the songs. Who is pers who is the who are the songs coming from? The Three of Cups. This is Pisces energy. So more water. It could be also a, a water sign. Both of these people could be water signs. They could have a strong psychic connections. They could both have water moons or suns or whatever. I'm saying water moon because um, the moon is all about the subconscious mind. It's all about how psychic you are. If you have a water moon, you tend to be more psychic than other people. So that's why I'm thinking of this. Could also be that, uh, yeah, whatever they have, they have some kind of uh, strong water placements. They could be, um, this could be Cancer and this could be Pisces. Okay. Holy Spirit, talk to me about the Pisces person. Let's talk about this person more. Both of these people could be musicians or lovers of music. Three of Cups talks to me about the arts, the muses, the free muses. This could be an artist. Maybe they're both artists. Okay. They're either um, great lovers of music or they are artists themselves. Okay, that's what I'm getting here for these people. Okay, so let's talk about the person this is from. Who is the person that the music is coming from? Because if you recognize yourself in here, let's find out who is this other person. Who is the person that's sending you music? Who is the person sending you music? Nine of Pentacles, Virgo and Pisces. That's interesting because th these are opposite signs. So this person could be, could be a bit of a Jekyll and Hyde kind of character. Or somebody who is very versatile. Somebody who is very capable of seeing things from different perspectives. Somebody who could be very abundant, who could be doing quite well for themselves. So, yeah, 39, there you go. Well, it's not 39 because they're not the same. Whatever, never mind. <sighs> Queen of Wands, this is Aries. So, we've got Pisces, Aries, and Virgo here for this person, the energies. Queen of Wands, this could be somebody very attractive. Again, Queen of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles is somebody very independent. Could be an entrepreneur, could be, yeah, somebody who looks very good also. This person could be very attractive, actually. Uh-oh, Five of Swords. Oh my God, Five of Swords and Tower moment. They might have Scorpio and Aquarius in their chart, too. Five of Swords here, so... This person could be a bit narcissistic, actually. Hmm. Or, 
there's an argument between these two people and this person is trying to soften the other person up. Okay, is this person narcissistic? The person on the right side here, is, are they narcissistic? Or is there just an argument between the two of them? There's too much cards. There's too many cards. Six of Swords. King of Wands. They could have kind of an ego. Nine of Swords. Yeah, I think they might be. Hmm. But with the Six of Swords, it's like... Going from the Five of Swords to the Six of Swords. Okay, maybe they're not really narcissistic. Maybe they just want to calm the situation down. From going from the Five of Swords to the Six of Swords to move into calmer waters. To have some kind of victory with the, the Leo card here. But this person is anxious. They do. They might have some mental issues, to be honest. Or they could just be anxious because there was some kind of conflict between themselves and the other person. But you see, we've got two um, fire sign cards. We have a lot of air. Okay. So this person might just be very anxious. They might not necessarily be a narcissist. They could just be anxious over some kind of argument. And this person... Maybe wants to be triumphant over that argument. They could have a bit of, not really narcissistic, but anyway, whatever. They eight of pentacles. This could be somebody who is a hard worker. Okay, so I don't think this is necessarily a narcissist. I think this is somebody who is anxious over some kind of argument or some kind of, yeah, some kind of fight they had. And they want to calm the situation down. So maybe, like I said, they're just sending, like, energy to heal the situation. Okay, there you go. Anything else we need to know about this person? Two of Pentacles. And it flipped all over the place. This person's trying to be balanced. They're trying to be fair and balanced. But this person could have some emotional imbalance, to be honest. The Fool. The fool with the two of pentacles, when I'm asking if this person has mental issues, could be a sign of mental issues, could be a sign of bipolar disorder or something. Whatever. Okay. Three of wands. This person's trying to manifest the other person towards them, maybe. Eight of wands. Yeah, they're sending... 48 could be significant. Yeah, they're sending some... Okay, this person could be doing some kind of magic here. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Three of Wands, Eight of Wands. They're, from, they're doing some work on this person. They could be doing like, you know, um, sweetening jar or whatever you call that. Something like that. Or they're doing some kind of magic on them. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. Maybe this person wants to have a family with the other person. Does this person want to have a family with the person that they're sending songs to? Nine of Wands reversed. They want to heal something. Okay, maybe they want to heal some kind of trauma, family trauma. This could be a... Oh, this could be a family member. This could be a family member. Is this a family member? Is this a family member of the other person? Six of Cups, yes, I think so. It's either the, the parent or the child, I think. Queen of Pentacles. It could be the mother of this child, I guess. This could be the mother and this could be the child. Two of Wands. They're at a the distance. The full reversed. Yeah, this is a parent or a child of the other person. Definitely family members. Four of Wands. Could be a spouse too. Okay, so it could be a soulmate or a spouse too. Yes. Yeah, so it's not it's it's either a family member, a soulmate, or a spouse of this person, or a former spouse. Or a spirit spouse. I don't know. Four of Swords. There's a separation anyway. Between these two people, there's a separation. They're not together right now. So that's why this person is telepathically sending this person music. Okay, so let's talk about this person a bit more. Person A. 
with the Ace of Cups in reverse here. Five of Pentacles. Oh, this person's not doing well. So this person might be very sad and also might feel left out in the cold. They might be poor. I don't know. Because this one has the Nine of Pentacles. This one's only at the Five of Pentacles. So this person is doing much worse than the other person is. Emotionally and financially possibly. Or this could also feel empty. Uh, this could be spiritual poverty. This person could be either financially poor or spiritually poor. And they don't have a lot of self-love. This person is pretty messed up to be honest. Five of Cups. Okay, they're crying for themselves here. They're, there's, yeah, Ten of Cups. Hmm. Maybe they're dreaming of the Ten of Cups, but they're in the Five of Cups with the Five of Pentacles because they have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Eight of Cups. This person could have walked away from the other person or could feel abandoned by the other person or just abandoned in general. Maybe abandoned by their family. I don't know. King of Swords. Yes, I think that's a yes. This person could have become kind of cold and detached. This person could feel like nobody's always... Nobody's always. Okay. <laughs> that nobody's on their side ever. So this person could be mad at the world. They could be mad at the other person. They could just be like a king of swords. They'll be like, okay, I'll cut my heart out with the ace of cups reverse. If ace of heart, hearts. No more heart. I'm the king of swords now. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Seven of Swords. Libra and Aquarius energy here. Two of Swords, more Libra. Yeah, so this person's become cold. They used to be a very loving person. Very idealistic, and now they're like this. Ouch. Yeah. This person's heart has frozen. Yes, Ace of Wands. Look, fire, fire. Bring them fire. <laughs> okay. This person maybe is trying to, to be more philosophical. Maybe this person sees a lot of red flags here. But this person is in... in um, hmm. I don't know if this person should want a relationship with this person because this person is not doing well. Maybe they're trying to start something new to, to grow something. Is this person trying to grow uh, past the, the all this emotional turmoil here? Eight of Swords. Oh, this person's stuck in their head. They're stuck in their ways. They're stuck in some kind of karmic cycle. Wow, this is not good at all. King of Cups. <sighs> King of Cups could be somebody who's very emotionally intelligent, very evolved. But in this context, I'm not sure. Maybe this person is trying to heal the Eight of Swords. And the Three of Swords. So this person is trying to heal themselves. They're not asking for help. They're trying to heal themselves. That's what I'm getting. Two of Cups, yeah. Doctor, heal thyself. Mm -hmm. For they, they could be dealing with depression. Number 24 could be significant. Nine of Cups, again with the healing. This could also be overindulging. Also, this person could be very guarded with their heart here. Two of Swords, Four of Cups, Nine of Cups. All of these uh, cards make me think that this person is very guarded with their heart again this person could be trying something new maybe they're trying to study something about psychology they maybe they're yeah maybe they're going to university to study or something they could also be yeah trying to start some kind of business or something that will help them transmute all this negative emotional energy here is this person working on something is this person yes they are queen of swords they're learning something yeah they're, they're learning again they might be learning about emotional issues about psychology so they can fix themselves they're trying to fix themselves knight of pentacles but it's moving slowly they feel like it's moving slowly 
Ten of Swords. Again, they're very hurt. This person's been hurt too much to heal, maybe. I don't know. Can this person heal? Maybe they don't trust anyone to help them. Six of Pentacles. Yes, they can. Look, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. But they need help, I think, with the Six of Pentacles. Again, this person's trying to be the healer and the... the I almost said the victim. They're trying to be the healer and the patient at the same time. 16, Scorpio. Transformation. Eight of Swords. Not the Eight of Swords. Eight of Cups here. They could have a lot of Scorpio in their chart. This is Scorpio. They could have a lot of water in their chart. And this person is trying to fix themselves. But they're very guarded with their heart. Okay, so this person, yeah, okay. I think they're going to have a victory, though. Hmm. <sighs> Again, with the guarded heart. So what can you do about this? I don't know who is what. I don't know. So this is the person that the songs were going to. And this is the person sending the songs. Okay, so what else should I ask about this? What else do we need to know here? What should these people know about the situation they're in? King of Wands, the full reversed. Uh, Leo and Aries energy, but this is like the full reversed is like Somebody could have mental issues. I don't know Somebody could uh, feel like their world is upside down Somebody's depressed Could be this king of wands could be a fire sign that's depressed here. Nine of Wands reversed. I've got all the, the fire signs here. I've got Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Somebody could have all of these in their chart. They could also have Cancer in their chart or some water. Um, but somebody's getting over this um, trauma that they have. They're coming out of this, I think. Five of Swords. Maybe they don't see it. Maybe they feel like they're defeated. Maybe this person thinks that they're a narcissist. Maybe they think that they're too damaged. Nine of Pentacles. Again, they're trying to heal their own cuckoo. Nine of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Look at that. Yeah, somebody is trying to do all this by, by themselves. They're trying to balance themselves out. They're, they're doing everything on their own. Um, can the other person help this person? Can the person be? Mm, I don't think so. Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords. <sighs> Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords. This person could be very anxious over betrayal. Somebody's anxious about betrayal. Somebody's afraid that... They will be betrayed by the other person. Maybe this person is afraid or both people are afraid of betrayal. I don't know. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This could talk about finances. I don't know. Maybe this person needs finances or what do they need? Or there could also be another... I don't know. There could be competition. Somebody could be in a relationship here. I don't know. With the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody could be in an established relationship, so there's competition. So there's nothing to do much. I don't know. Is there anything that person B can do for person A? Oh, the Queen of Cups, Five of Cups. Maybe apologize for something. I'm feeling hot all of a sudden. Stop throwing me wands at me seven of wands reversed eight of wands four of pentacles somebody might need to put their guard down and communicate something 
Eight of Swords, possibly apologize, but somebody could feel very stuck in their head over doing this. They could feel like they're stuck between a, a rock and a hard place here. Is there anything they can do for this person or they should they just let it go? I don't know. Ten of Wands, drop the burdens. Drop the fire, stop setting me on fire. Oh my god, I'm I'm feeling like I'm burning here. Some kind of communication needs to happen, I guess. Five of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, some kind of apology. Look, the Knight of Cups with the Ace of Cups reversed. This person came out like that. The person who was receiving the music. The Fool reversed. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. I think that these people, they, they just need to walk away from each other. There's nothing really they, that can come out of this. Two of Wands. This could be, this could talk about making some kind of plan, but the thing is, I don't think there's anything that can be done here between these two people. Knight of Swords. Uh, yeah, I think you need to walk away from the situation. King of Swords. Yes, that's what it's telling me. Bingo. Yeah, this, this is not coming together, but look, we've got the Three of Cups here. I'm feeling dizzy now. Oh my god, somebody's throwing spells at me. Stop it. Stop it now. <laughs> Holy Spirit, remove the spell, please. Seven of Cups reversed. There's no confusion. Ace of Swords, Eight of Cups, King of Cups. Okay, so this talks about transformation, but it also talks about walking away, killing it, dead the situation, it's over. Cut it out. Holy Spirit, is that the end? Should they just let it go? Eight of Pentacles, work, work on what? Knight of Wands, on freeing yourself. Somebody needs, both of these people need to free themselves. Queen of Wands, Two of Cups, what the hell? Maybe somebody needs to, I don't know. Stop manifesting it. Okay, somebody's trying to manifest the other person. They need to stop. Knight of Pentacles, because their manifestation could be blocked. It's not going to work. Is this uh, relationship blocked from coming together? Is this relationship blocked? Yes, it is. Look at that. Ace of Wands. Yeah. It's blocked. This could have been a soulmate relationship of some sort. But it's been blocked. Maybe because people still need to heal. Is there any way for this relationship to come together again? To come back together? Six of Swords Reverse could talk about a comeback, may, making a return or coming back. But this could also be a no, because there's no moving into calmer waters. Ten of Cups. There could be a return, you know, and there could be the Ten of Cups here, but I don't know. Also, there could be another relationship. Somebody could be in a relationship, I don't know. Okay, anything else? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I think there could be a third party. Again, it's blocked. The relationship is blocked at this time. So they, if somebody's trying to match King of Pentacles, with the King of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, again, it could be that there's a third party situation, right? I've got a lot of freeze here. Yeah, there could be a third party or somebody needs to grow up. Somebody needs to put in an effort to, to grow out of the situation they're in. But anyway, 
whoever's doing some manifesting here, they need to stop because the situation is blocked. So they're going to hurt themselves if they try to do spells here. I think that's all. I, I'm running out of cards anyway. So that's the whole situation. Stop manifesting. It's six of cups reversed. It's not coming together. Again, it's a soulmate relationship indeed. But it's it's blocked. Let it die, basically. That's what it says here. Also, healing needs to happen. It's blocked because healing still needs to occur for these people to come together. Because if they were to come together right now, it would not be a healthy relationship. I'm just going to ask one more question. Are these people ever going to come together in this lifetime? <laughs> Let's find out. Will these people ever come back together? In this lifetime do they have any chances of being together in this lifetime Holy Spirit do these two people we're talking about here have any chances of coming back together in this lifetime nine of no they're gonna stay single yeah unfortunately no and I had the Eight of Swords here because there, somebody's stuck in their head, somebody's stuck in their ways. Maybe both of them are. Maybe one person is. So, yeah, I'm afraid this is over. Have a good day. Take care.